Hello everyone. In today's uh, session, we will study about uh, half and full ladder. We will design and we will implement that. So the designing part is already mentioned in the PDF. I am sharing the PDF in the description uh, section of the video. You can download it from there. So uh, let us start with the half adder. So for half adder, we require two inputs. So this is one input. We can name it as A, and uh, we require XOR gate. So here we have the XOR, XOR gate, and uh, we also uh, require AND gate. So first we connect this to the XOR gate. And then the same inputs to the AND gate also. Uh, inputs of A and B to this AND gate also. So this uh, two inputs. Now we require two outputs. So two probes. So this upper one, XOR, output of XOR gate will give us the sum and this part will give us the carry. Okay. Now let us turn it on. So 0, 0, both are 0, 0. So 0 plus 1 is 1. Okay. So 0 plus 1 is 1, 0. And 1, 0, 1 plus 0 is also 1, 0. When both are 1, we get a carry. So you can verify this truth table from the PDF which I am sharing uh, the link which I am sharing in the description section of the video you can uh, see that so this is how the half header works now let us go for the full header now the second part of this practical is a uh, full header so we need to design this full header I have already done this designing part uh, you can uh, see the PDF I have given the link in the description box of this video you can download from there so what we need is we need to uh, design the circuit here with power supplies and the NAND gates. So let us first select the power supply. So we need three power supplies. Okay. So we need to rotate it clockwise. I'll keep it one here. Just copy and paste. Because we need three, there are three inputs. So we need three input power supplies. the VCC we say then uh, we need NOT gate the reason we need NOT gate because we uh, we require A and A bar you can see V and B bar C and C bar <coughs> so these are the three inputs for that purpose we need this so just take the buffer invert this output and then uh, rotate clockwise I'll give it here then uh, copy and paste one more copy paste so three NOT gates now we require for see this full added design requires one part is the summation part other is the carry part so for some we have that equation you can uh, just go through the equation from the PDF so for this purpose there are uh, this is actually SOP equation where there are four summations for summation for this part we actually take the NAND gate so I just convert it to inward output. So this is uh, I require three inputs. So I just increase this number to input size as three. So this is three input NAND gate. I just copy and paste it here. I require four NAND gates of three input, and finally one more NAND gate of four inputs. So this is the case. Now in the first sum we have a b bar c bar. So this line would be of A, this is A bar, B, B bar, C in C, C in bar. So first is A, B, B bar, C. So this is connected to A directly. So this is the A part. Okay. Then next, uh, one more thing I forgot to mention. So I have to connect this and this not to this particular gate. Okay. This particular uh, input power supply. Okay. Now the next input is B bar. So this line already connection. So this connection. So I just deleted. Sometimes we encounter some problems. Okay. So next is this one. 
this will be connected to B bar and the next is connected to C bar now next summation is A bar B bar C so this is going to A bar so this is A bar then B bar so this is B bar and C I N so this is C I N now next summation is A B C so directly A this goes to A this goes to B and the last one goes to C so this goes to C and the last is A bar B C bar so this is A bar then B is here and C I N bar so this is C I N bar now we more we need one more uh, actually uh, NAND gate which has actually four inputs so the input size is four and in what output and we need a probe so let us take the probe then our connection gets completed so this is the probe and now let us complete the connection the first the second connection the third connection and the fourth connection and finally this one so we are now ready so this is actually the summation so let us start so all 0 0 0 0 is 0 then 0 0 1 is 1 0 1 0 is also 1 1 0 0 is also 1 and 1 1 becomes 0 sorry 0 1, 1 0 1 and we can actually check all the combinations from z all zeros to all ones we can verify the table i'm just doing some few here okay so this is how we can verify so this is how we verify the working of this one of the part of the full header so one of the part is summation now let us go for the carry part i'll just minimize this so that we can continue our work in this space itself so that there is no confusion so i i need uh, three nand gates so you can please refer the pdf download the pdf and refer the pdf so that it will become easier for us to understand so we need now <coughs> three nand gates of two input so this is one nand gate then we just copy and paste it here one more paste okay so this is one the second nand gate and the third nand gate the first input is a b so just connect here this is a this is b directly then second is b c so this is this goes to b and this goes to c i n actually c n and finally is a c so let's connect this to a and the last one to C so this is now we want we have one more actually NAND gate so let's copy this and we space because this is 3 input so this is 3 input and of course we require a probe so this is the probe ok so now the final connection this one then this one then this is the last one and the probe for the output now let us verify we'll just start it so zero 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 both are zero sum is zero carry is zero for zero zero one sum is one carry is zero then zero one zero again one zero one one z zero sum and uh, one is the carry and so on we can actually verify this working okay. for one zero zero sorry one zero zero again one is the sum for one zero one sorry we get this okay and finally for one one we all all are out, on so this is how we verify the working of the full adder now next we do is the full self adder the second part of this practical so i have already uh, done the circuit part to save the time so if you want to learn how I have done this, you can watch the last video, the, the third practical video where uh, similar circuit 
full subtract of uh, full full header was uh, designed so to save time i have done this so also you can refer the pdf which i i'm sharing the link in the dismiss section of this video you can share you can download and you can actually learn this how i got this particular circuit so by the way the this the, the upper part this one this is the difference as i've shown this is the difference and this is the borrow out okay so these are the three inputs a b and b i n so b i n is the borrow from the previous subtraction so these are the three inputs and we have the two outputs difference and borrow so if we compare this particular circuit with full subtractor then difference is same as the sum of the pre previous case only there's a difference with borrow out okay so we need to do this particular connection so please uh, go through the pdf there the kmap solution is done how do we get this particular circuit so i'll just run it so uh, for all zeros both are zero zero for zero zero one okay we get difference one borrow one next for one zero okay, again we have one one then for one one this becomes one zero and for one zero zero we'll have difference as one borrow as zero for one zero one both become zero for one one zero again both become zero and for one 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 both become high so you can actually verify this table uh, this is for full subtractor so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching do join for us uh, in in the next video